What is up, guys? What is up? What is up? What's really hood with it? What's really hood? What up, guys? Well, today I want to talk about something. First of all, I want to say that I'm going to meet with some people. Uh, Freak of Four. Slayer. The Game Beaters. Intrigued Gaming. And Richard W. They're all going to be at the Galloping Ghost here pretty soon. So I am on my way there. Pretty sweet. So I will let you know how that goes. Maybe I'll record some stuff and there will be a video. We'll see. We'll see what's up. But uh, other than that, I'm going to go beat some games. Fuck some shit up. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, I wanted to talk about today something that came across yesterday at work. And I don't want to be any, any of this to be taken in like a bad way or anything like that, but I was like trying to understand it. Being more specific, I don't know if you know Jeremy watches these videos, so if you do, definitely don't mean no shade by him. But Jeremy, a friend at work, fellow, fellow supervisor, showed me this thing he bought. He bought this Asus, I think that's how you say it, the Asus, Asus. And it's basically a portable Xbox. I'm sure I, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Uh, usually you guys are a lot more in... Speed check reported ahead on I-90 East. I so, um, he bought this thing and I asked him, I said, how much is it? It had all these like LED lights in it and stuff. And he's playing Elden Ring on this handheld. And he said it was like $700. So I don't know if that was $700 before tax or just when all was said and done. Because I did see it online for like $600. And, uh, and it was like $600 or whatever. And uh, so I don't know if it was like almost $700 by the time all was said and done. So anyway, I thought that that was really crazy. Um because he started showing me and he's like, well, look at this, you know, you know, check it out or whatever. And he could play Elden Ring on there. And apparently it's like a little bit better graphics than the PS4 or something like that. But, but my thing is this, it's like, I told him, I said, and, and I, and this is kind of the question for today is like, do you guys really play handhelds like that though on the go? Like being for real, like being for real, like we take a game like Elden Ring, okay? You can't really sit down for 20 minutes and really accomplish much on a game like Elden Ring, correct? You're going to want to sit down for, let's be honest, a couple hours. And you're going to want to put some time into it in front of your TV and be on your couch or your chair or whatever. And you're probably going to want to get some shit done on it. And to be... Don't you want to play on, like, a bigger TV, you know? Rather than this really small screen. It's a little small screen. I'll never understand these handhelds, and this goes with Steam Deck, too, because apparently this is the, you know, contender with Steam Deck, and, and I think Steam Deck is fucking poor, too. It's like, it, it's, it's not about what it can and can't do. That's not what I have a problem with. What I have a problem with is... Do you guys really play handhelds like that? Like, you're not going to get through a game like Breath of the Wild even on handheld, are you? Hundred-something hour game, 90 hour game, something like that? You're, you're, that's not going to happen, right? You're going to put it in your TV, you know? And it's just, then there was the whole talk with Jeremy about, well, you know, you can play it on break here real quick. You got like 20 minutes or whatever. And, and I'm like, but in 20 minutes, you can't accomplish anything in the game. And, and, and is 20 minutes really worth it? You know, do you have to play, dude? You have to, you can't, you can't like wait till you get home. Yeah. It was just such a, I, I just don't get, I, I'll be honest with you. What I feel like with people that buy these handhelds is you just want a new toy. You know, you're not really going to use it, are you? You know, 
I, I just don't think that playing on the go... Speed check reported ahead on I-90 East. ...a thing that happens with a lot of people. I think, I think playing on the go is for a very small amount of people. Very small. Like, people that... Like, if you're a pro athlete and you're on the plane all the time flying to different cities to the next team you're going to play, you know... When you're constantly on a plane ride, okay, I understand that you might have a three-hour plane ride, and it happens almost all the time. Like you're, you're, you're taking a plane ride every other day. You know, okay, yep. And you're on the plane for two, three hours. Yeah, I can see that. And you're not at home. You, you travel all the time. You're a pro athlete. Okay, fair enough. You're not sitting in your apartment. Or I'm sorry, your mansion or whatever the fuck you got. Your house. You're not sitting there. You're, you're on the go, man. You're constantly go, go, go. If you're like a WWE superstar or something, yeah, you probably want something like that because you're not just sitting there chilling at home or you got to bring shit with you to your hotel. You know, you're constantly in hotels, you know? So that, the very small amount of group of people, I understand that. I understand that. But for like the more like normal lives... Do we really need that? Do you really use that? Or is it just like, I want this new toy that came out. And I want this new cool thing. And I like to just kind of fuck around with it. You know what I mean? Because even like if you play MLB The Show or Madden or something. I mean, those are 45 minute games. Do you have 45 minutes? And do you have to play like when you're on break at work? Do you have to? That's just... I feel like your phone is such a great tool for that. If you're on break at work, you can check your social media. You can maybe watch a YouTube video. Maybe you play some cell phone games that are very simple. They're clicky. Maybe you're checking out your fantasy team. You're checking the scores online. You're on your Facebook. Whatever whatever you do, right? That's Your phone's good for that. It's a time waster. But like to like honestly play games like Elden Ring... Speed check or, reported ahead on I-90 East. Fuck up navigation please i don't care about a speed check i'm going the speed limit idiot so shut up but anyway uh, <laughs> um yeah I, I i thought it was like a super weird thing to buy that and, and it's a lot of money 700 bucks 700 bucks ain't no like little bit i would be like more like okay go out and buy a switch that's like 300 that that then okay you know, you want to play on the go a little bit. It's 300 bucks. 300 bucks ain't shit. You know, but when you start getting up to like 700, 700 and some tax, so, you know, almost eight, you know, when you start getting there, wow, you better hope you're using that piece of equipment. You know what I mean? Like, it's important. It's, a, it's like the price of a phone now, you know, and phones we use all the time, you know? So I thought it was a really odd thing, and I was just wondering, like, am I just in the minority here where everybody does find use for that? But I think even sometimes when you guys do, I know a lot of people bought, like, the analog and stuff. Like, do you even play that, though? Like, really, do you? Like, I'm talking put serious time in it. Do you got 50 hours into your analog? Or do you got, like, let's be real, do you got maybe two? You know what I mean? So, with the Asus, I just felt like I wouldn't play that unless maybe I'm laying in bed. But then the thing is, if I'm laying in bed, why don't why wouldn't I just be on my phone? Or why why don't I just go to bed? Like why why do I need my game system? I would go down to the game room. You know? Like it just there was never a spot for it, you know, that I feel is necessary. You know, like I don't know about you guys, but like when you're working and stuff like that, your life's kind of busy. You're always kind of moving, whether you're just driving somewhere real quick and you're going, or you're at work and you're working, and then you come home, and then you're, you're coming home. You're, you're at home to do things. Why do you need a handheld? Where are you at to where you're sitting there for an hour or two, chilling, chilling, to where you got to play your games? It's just, it's weird to me. It's weird to even take the Switch around. Like, I, I don't even find time to, to take the Switch. I would, I only play my Switch in the dock, dude. Because, I mean, the, I'll tell you right now the times I did take it. When we went to Miami, I took it because it was a three-hour plane ride. 
So I played through some Nintendo games. I played Mario 3 and stuff like that. I actually ended up beating the whole game. That's a rare time, though. It's a rare time. I took it on vacation, yes, because I didn't want to bring my dock and everything like that. For sure. Um, would I bring it to, like, a convention or something? Sure. But at a convention, I'm also very busy. And then I'm playing with other people, and they got shit hooked up in their rooms. I end up not sitting down and playing it. You know? So, I, I just, I don't understand, especially for $700, where that's necessary. And I think it's so weird that people will go out and spend that much money on something that you don't use. It's just going to sit there, man. You know what I mean? It, it's like, weird. If I was going to spend that much money, it better be something I'm using a lot. You know, like a lot, lot. Like, if I had an Asus, which is what I'm going to call it, that portable Xbox, basically. I mean, I better, by the end of that thing, put a thousand hours into it. And there's no way I'd ever come close to that. And I bet you nobody does. Nobody comes that close to it. Nobody. You know, I bet you not one person. You know? I don't know. Because then he said, well, you, you can watch YouTube videos on it and stuff. I was like, yeah, but you can on your phone. So why would you need that thing? And then if you have all these lights on and stuff, like his percentage for his battery dropped in like 20 minutes. I'm like, what? So then you have to play with it like like plugged in? Speed check reported ahead on I-90 East. Like if you got to play with it plugged in, then it's no longer portable. You know, and what a weird thing. I'm sorry. To me, that's just a complete waste of money. That's, that's so weird, man. I don't even know why that thing was created. I, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Like, except for, like I told you, that very small percentage of person that has, that you're on a plane all the time, dude. All the time. Or you're never at home. And you're in and out of hotels constantly. Like, maybe you have a traveling job or something and you're just constantly going. Then okay. Yep. You play some WWE 2K23 on that bitch. For sure. You can play your season on there. You can do your stuff on there because you're always going. You don't you're never at home. And you don't want to lug a big uh, a big system with you to the to the each hotel and put it in your backpack and have a holder for it and all this stuff. Like you just want this little Asus thing that could just do it all. Like, okay. Sure. I could see that. You want to play a game of Madden on the plane. Yep, yeah, okay. You know? I would argue even though you don't want to get too used to it, though. It's a very small screen compared to what you're, you're used to playing on, I think, on average, what, people are using 50-inch TVs nowadays? 50 to 75-inch TVs on average? I mean, so you go down to this tiny little screen, it's going to be a lot different, you know? I, I just... I don't understand it. But it kind of blew my mind, and I wanted to make sure I talked about it today. And it's no shade towards towards anybody. I just... I need help understanding you honestly use it. Don't don't just say, oh, I use it. Yup, I use it all the time. I No, I mean, honestly, though. I, I know you're going to justify buying it and getting it. Do you honestly put time into it, though? I do feel like I asked Canadian Gamer about this a long time ago about his analog, and he did answer me honestly. He's like, yeah, you're right. I bought that analog, and he's like, man, I barely played it. And it's like... I think that's most people. Jeremy will play this Asus for a week, and then he'll go and sit at home. You know, he'll sit at home and not do anything. He'll just sit in a case somewhere, you know? And it's crazy, because you spent so much money on it, dude. Oh my gosh, you spent so much money on it. It's crazy. That's like getting a phone and not using it. You know, it's weird. Weird. People are weird. Um, to me. You know, I don't mean that to... I don't mean that to come off as rude. I, I, I don't mean it like that. It's just that is so weird to me, you know? That's like spending a lot of money on a car that you don't drive. Like, why? Why would you do that? It, it's weird. But I don't know. Anyways, help me understand. I'm going to go to Galvin Ghost. I, for some reason, I really want to play RoboCop Arcade. I don't know why. I just I want to play it really bad. 
RoboCop Arcade. I'm probably heading straight towards that. And I'm going to watch some porn. Some porn.